What's up guys, this is the Dell keyboard, it's a model um, L100, and uh, it's, it's not wireless, there's no cable. Well, let's take it apart and see what's in there. It should be a very quick video. There are a lot of screws in the bottom. So, let me try a time lapse for this. All right, that's all of it. And when we open it, we get this. Here's the membrane. The thing you press on, it bounces back. It bounces back after you press it. Uh, well, there you go. I just made a, a TKL keyboard. 10 keyless. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's not it. There you go. Just take that back together and you got a TKL keyboard. <laughs> now nah, we don't need any of that. And then underneath that, here's the actual circuitry where when you press down, they make contact and register. So you got a few more screws. Oh, bit of the membrane uh, is sticky. One. Two. And three. Here it is. Here's the circuitry that drives the keyboard. Very tiny controller there. <clears throat> and then, here's the traces on the, the thing. There's actually three parts to it. A piece of film that's non-conductive, I guess. One set of traces and the other. So that's what let me throw this away first. Hold on. It's going to bounce back. Okay. And then, uh, won't come out, but there's this little piece of rubber that kind of forces the two traces to be put, sort of put together to make contact with the, the board. And that's the bottom of it. Last thing. Last but not least are these kickstands, even though I don't use them, some of you do. Comment below if you use the kickstand, the, the feet, and the keyboard. And we only got to pop out a few of them, including the space bar. And a few of the different looking ones. Enter key as well, sir. And then here are some of the keys. Oh, dropped it. A variety of key caps. B key, the shift, enter key, the alt key, space bar. <clears throat> okay, and that's kind of a tear down of it. Wonder if that comes out. Hold on. Guess a window for the. No, I guess it doesn't come out because there's the window for the caps lock, num lock, scroll lock keys. Some of the keys, including the enter key and the spacebar, have these stabilizers on the bottom, so that you can you can press the key from any side and it'll still feel the same. It'll still register. I mean, I think they're made of steel. Oh, there you go. That's a tear down of the Dell keyboard. Hope you found it interesting about how membrane keyboards work, considering how popular mechanical keyboards are in this day and age. Yep, that's just a different, very different kind of keyboard.
Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.